Hey, it's Jill with Quick Flicks. Um, I'm going to go over a couple things today. Uh, the first is I'm making some of the letters, the one foot letters, um, names. I'm doing James in the theme of Thomas the Train. And I am doing, uh, what is that here? The other name here. What do I have? Can't believe I forgot. Oh, Jocelyn. Um, in the theme of Frozen. First of all, in last night's video, I was talking about the digital print glitter papers and how I add little spots of glitter to them to give them the effect of the glitter. And somebody had made a note on that video regarding a product called, uh, made by um, Deco Art. And one of them is called Glamour Dust. And the other one is Twinkles. My husband, I sent him to the store to get them for me. Um, here's the Twinkles, which is like a liquid glitter, clear. And then here is the Deco Art. Um, this one says Ice Crystal. And I think it's Ultra Fine, Fine Glitter Paint. It looks white, but when I brushed it on my paper, it came out clear. So I'm not sure if that is the one or not. I'm waiting for them to dry. I did them on my samples here because I showed you that these were my digital glitters that I did with the dots. Um, this one I, I put the uh, deco glitter on it. And this one I did was the Ultra Fine Glamour Dust. And then the, the Twinkle one again. This is at Michael's in the paint made by Deco Art. I did this one in the clear. Um, I'm not really sure if it's going to work for me because when I brush it on, the paper gets very wet and buckles. Um, I'm going to let it dry and see if it will flatten because with this, the way that I do it with my, um, just by putting my dabs of glitter all over it, my paper stays flat. It doesn't buckle up. This one, it, um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's like wet paper. You can tell from the back more. It buckled. Now, um, again, this one buckled really bad. I just brushed it on, but it made it wet, and the paper's all. So I'm not really sure. I will let you know when that dries, if it dries flat like these in the way that I did them. Another thing is on these glitter digitals it takes very 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 little this is just nothing more than a few dots and squigglers of the glitter um, and I use these studio for a dollar um, and it doesn't take much at all uh, that I think that I like this better um, and it's super super easy again I, I I might have an issue with this in the way it dries, unless it was on a, hard, a heavier card sack. But this is that paper that I get off of Amazon, and it's pretty heavy. We'll see. I'm going to try and, and, and be optimistic and see what happens. And let me see what else I was going to say. I'm going to let that one go and get back to you on how that one comes out when it dries. And then the other thing that I'm going to be going... Well, let me do the, the James first. And... I got James Digital, or Thomas the Train Digital Papers. This is the one with the front view of Thomas. And this is a red and blue stripe paper, the red and white stripe paper. Um, this is a print of um, Thomas, the paper. Um, and then this one was of clouds. These are the, the colors that I picked. It came with... I want to say 15 different images, the paper, and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I'm going to use him. I'm trying to think. I had these set out how I was going to use them and didn't realize I was missing one of the letters. Okay, so I think I'm going to switch this one around and switch this one around and put this one over here. Yep, that's the way I think I'm going to do it. Um, these letters are 11 and a half inches um, and what I did is the Arial Black font in my Silhouette Studio um, font library 
and then after I've did the letter and colored it the print you know the print that I wanted I did the offset and I did the offset of the default I didn't change the settings at all so I believe the default is 0.125 and that's what I use for my solid background and um, again each of these letters um, I pulled it to a 12 inch sheet of paper um, because the problem is is I cannot get them all exactly 12 inches tall because some of the letters are really wide and you want to keep them uniform in height however the M is 12 inches wide you can't make it 12 inches tall because the M will not fit on a sheet of paper so they are more on the longs of line 10 inches high but a couple of the letters are 12 inches wide and again that's just the way it is there's nothing you can do about it um, you can't change it so I'm going to I want to start and end with Thomas so I'm going to put him on the first letter and it's my little baby Charlie's third birthday today January 3rd um, it is her golden birthday um, of course we have a party planned for tonight and it's also my future daughter-in-law Jenna's birthday today and we're also having a party for her tonight um, well the two of them are all going out together to celebrate and um, I will tell you on my next video what the surprise is for her but I can't she never watches my video so I highly doubt that she would see it however I can't risk it because my son would absolutely crucify me um, all I can say is they got engaged last year at Disney and we're going back this year and she's devastated because they can't go because of their wedding coming up um, they don't have enough vacation time my son just recently changed jobs and just is not in the cards for them to go with us and of course um, there's been a, you know we booked it the other day um, and all of us are just bouncing off the wall with excitement and it's making Jenna feel um, she wants to be happy for all of us but yet it makes her feel bad because she really wanted to go back to Disney to get her tiara or her headpiece for her wedding at Disney because that's where she got engaged and that's not something you have somebody pick out for you um, so anyway but um, I'll be doing a video tomorrow and so I will let you know what my son has done for her uh, as a surprise when she gets home today um, he I don't think yeah he's we're all going out to celebrate however he's going to be giving her her gift prior to our going out so I may have a video be doing a video before we go out to again I'm trying to catch up here guys because it's a new year and my new year's resolution was to get going on my videos I've been I've been slacking here but anyway let me get all this gook off here and there we have James now what I will do is after I get these all done I'll lay them out so you can see there's the S with the cloud paper and there's the E and I used the paper with uh, Thomas on it I don't know the names of all these trains so I'm not even going to attempt it I used the red with the green I think that's Percy I think one of them I know is Percy and I think that might be James Thomas, James, and Percy. And if I get it right, I wonder if I get a prize. I might be right, but I, but I think that's right. I think that's what it is. Anyway, you know, it's not a shock if I'm wrong. Then I did the stripe with the two shades of blue and the red. And then I did the James with the print of the front of Thomas. So, again, I will lay these out and, and show you some pictures. Um, these are adorable in... Um, square frames uh, to hang on a child's wall. I'm not real sure what they're doing with those, but they're really, really cute hanging on a uh, kid's room in, in, in frames. Now this one is going to be Jocelyn. I told you the other day I went to Michael's 
and they had all of this. I'm not going to take this all out of the bag because I'm going to make an absolute mess of glitter. But they had all of these things at 80% off. These pieces I will be using when I do like my little mermaid pieces when I do my florals under the sea because I love to add the glitters and the bling and stuff. And there was pink flowers in here that I'm going to cut off these pink flowers and use these on some of my pieces. Um, and just a ton, a ton of stuff here that I'm going to be using. I bought, I think, pretty much everything they had. They ended up to be like 18 cents each. And so I said, I'm going to buy them all. And I'm going to use some of these on this. This is the um, Frozen uh, theme. And I have a little Olaf here. And you know what I think I'm going to have him doing? This glitter is messy, but once you are through cutting it and, and putting it together, I'm going to have Olaf holding a glitter branch. How do you like that? And I am not going to use my good scissors. I was very close, but I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use my... Oh, love these colors. Awesome. This one's going to be so cute. This digital print, somebody asked me where I get them. The vast majority of my digital papers are from Etsy. Um, somebody wanted me to put my link on there for where I got these. I can't put the link on there because they're from numerous vendors. They're all different. All I do is type in a, a search, like for instance, on this one I put digital paper frozen. And it brings up pages and pages. And then I pick up the ones I like. I have numerous of them. I just bought some new ones today. Um, I don't know what they are yet. I bought these digital paper colors. Again, this was just frozen that I forgot to tape the, the end. Um, I don't, again, I can't add the link there because there, they, there's thousands. And I'm, I'm talking literally thousands of digital um, packs that you can get on Etsy. And I have probably, I would say maybe 10, maybe 12 different vendors that I purchased my frozen digitals from. Um, I got I got some today and I downloaded them and, and but I haven't dragged them into my silhouette yet. I'm anxious to do that but I'm trying to get some orders done first. Um, let me pull aside my glue gun was off so I'm gonna I'm gonna have um, Olaf holding that branch. Oh, that is too cute. And let, and this was another um, of the colors. This one I did Jocelyn under all of the the um, one vendor. This was one color scheme so that all the colors match. Again I have numerous vendors that I get them from but I pulled all of my colors on um, this name so that they would all look or, or match up. I'm going to put, put these two on this one and I think, I think, yep, I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to, and I found these pieces. I don't know if I used these, showed these, these before that on my two foot, um, my two foot of Elsa, like this, where she's holding her hand out. These are the snowflakes she handles on my two feet, on my two foot pieces. Um, these I've gotten on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, let me see what I want to put on here. I have, I have some snowflakes that I think I'm going to grab and add. Uh, snowflakes on this one. Tweezers. I'm being very, very slow here, aren't I? Um, let me see what else is new going on. Uh, let me think here. If I had a wonderful Christmas, had a wonderful New Year's. Um, my daughter's divorce is moving forward. I, I think that um, it was a uh, rough road 
for a little bit there. Our holidays were a little bit tough on her. I, I thank all of you that, that sent me kind thoughts and prayers. Um, very, very, very heartwarming how many people uh, had her in their minds. But um, it was a very, very tough time. However, she's a strong woman and she is moving forward and she will she will do great great things in store for her I have no doubt there we go I'm gonna put those three little glitzy snowflakes on the O let me see if my gun is warmed up yet and it is so I'm going to take and add some glue there and did this one. You know, I was working on my um, centerpiece last night that I did my video of Tinkerbell. Um, I'd forgotten when I made her the first time that she was way too big and I forgot to downsize my file. And so after I got her all cut out and started to put her together, I cursed at myself because I forgot that I needed to make her smaller because she's so huge and very 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 difficult to put together that's how I ended up doing the J with those glitter flowers um J O C um where was I going I forgot what I was saying oh but when I went to stand it up and stand it so big that it would bend even though I filled it full of sticks it would start to bend so what I had to do is take from some of my silk flowers that I bought where I cut all the flowers off and I have the metal, the big heavy branch left over covered in plastic and brown or rubber, um, like this part. If I cut all the flowers off, this part, but very heavy because there were some bigger florals. I ended up cutting those florals off and putting, attaching those to the front of Tinkerbell and the back of her like she was up in a tree to give her the strength she needed to stand upright because she's so big. She's actually nearly three feet. My husband, I can hear him down there mumbling under his breath because I know he just wants to shoot me for doing that. Because those kind of mistakes, he, he, they're hard. They're very, very hard for him to pack up. But anyway, um, after I got it to finally stand straight, he had to go also go out and buy a special base for it so that it didn't tip over. Um, I'm going to try and remember today to go back and minimize that uh, that particular uh, design or whatever I want to call it. I'm going to add some glitter on this one, um, that pattern, because it really is too big. So I'm going to add a bunch of glitter on here just 